How the Uber system works. The Uber system allows riders to request drivers at any time, in any city where Uber has launched. Drivers are able to go online at any time as well and have full flexibility to choose when and where they receive business. The experience begins when a rider requests a trip. The closest driver to that rider automatically receives the trip request and has 15 seconds to accept. Once they have accepted the trip, the driver then simply proceeds to the rider's location and notifies the rider when they have arrived by tapping the Arriving Now button. When the passenger gets in the vehicle, the driver begins the trip and navigates to the chosen destination. At the end of the trip, the driver presses End Trip to complete the fare. Payments are calculated within seconds, and both the driver and the rider have a chance to leave a rating for each other. Drivers are then immediately able to accept new requests for a ride. It's a very simple experience, which is a big part of why Uber has been so successful among both riders and drivers. Ratings Module After every completed trip, your client can leave a rating between 1 and 5 stars. They may also leave written feedback for the trip, like you see here. You also have the opportunity to rate the passenger between 1 and 5 stars. This two-way rating system helps ensure that Uber provides the best experience possible for both riders and drivers. Riders are always looking for 5-star service, which is why Uber is very selective about the drivers we partner with. If your rating falls below rider expectations, you may lose access to the Uber application. Fortunately, there are plenty of ways to make sure you remain a 5-star driver. Uber will always be ready to use and share client feedback to help you improve your service. Tips on 5 Stars module Want to know more about what your passengers will be looking for? Following these tips can help you get started on the right foot and make sure you consistently impress your clients. The top reason riders love using the Uber application is the reliability of the experience. For example, once a driver has accepted a trip, both the passenger and the driver see the same ETA, or estimated time to arrival. The rider will plan around this estimated arrival time and can even see the driver approaching in the Uber app. This makes it important for you, the driver, to be ready and prompt when accepting requests. Being late to a pickup is one of the most common reasons a driver receives a rating below 5 stars. Because riders expect their driver to arrive at the pickup location quickly, we suggest drivers only go online and accept trips when they are already in the vehicle and ready to drive. Using a GPS device is also highly recommended, and so is studying the city during downtime. The easier you can navigate the city, the happier your clients will be, and the more efficient you will be with your time. Riders also love using the Uber application because drivers pay attention to detail. If you open the door for the rider, provide cold water, or have extra phone chargers on hand for your client, you are always more likely to receive a 5-star rating. There is no formal dress code while driving on the Uber system, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't think about your appearance. How you dress and care for your hygiene may be seen by your clients as a reflection of your commitment to providing 5-star service. Dressing well can even make your job easier because riders respect drivers who present themselves in a professional manner. Asking users to rate you 5 stars, on the other hand, has proven to decrease driver ratings since users feel that it is unprofessional. Vehicle Quality Module Riders love being driven around in style. A rider that sees a car pulled up with a new car wash and then enters into a clean interior is much more likely to rate 5 stars than a user that pulls up to a car with dust on the outside and then finds clothes and other clutter on the inside. A quick note about smoking. Uber does not allow riders to smoke during an Uber trip. Please don't hesitate to ask your clients who want to smoke to smoke outside the vehicle out of respect for your next passengers. Additionally, riders tend to rate lower when taking a trip in a car with any strong scents, be it cigarette smoke, body odor, cologne, or even car air fresheners. Another focal point should be vehicle maintenance. Your contract with Uber requires that your vehicle is in great mechanical shape at all times. That means no visible body damage, no squeaky brakes, no broken AC, and no missing hubcaps. In short, the best Uber partners have cars that are fresh and clean, both inside and out. Go Online Module Once you sign in and select a vehicle, 
you will see a button that says go online. Before you go online, we suggest you are in your vehicle and ready to pick up a rider. We suggest staying offline if you're about to go in the shower, are eating, in the bathroom, or any other situation which will prevent you from driving to the rider immediately. If you're online and you need to take a break, simply hit the go offline button until you're ready to pick up a rider. The top reason that drivers love partnering with Uber is because of the flexible schedule. Since the Uber system is constantly on 24 hours a day, you have the ability to go on and offline as often as you'd like. Accepting Trips Modules Accepting a trip request is very quick and simple. Your phone will start beeping and the screen will flash. You will have 15 seconds to tap the phone screen and accept the trip. The ETA is shown so you will have a general idea of how far away the rider is. Remember, when you see a trip request, that means you are the closest available vehicle to that rider. This means there is no driver on the road better than you to accept the trip. If you accept, the rider will receive the fastest pickup possible, which is a great experience. If you do not accept, the trip request will go to another driver who may be much further away, resulting in a poor experience for both the rider and the driver. Because all requests go to the closest driver, your acceptance rate is important. If you do not want to accept trips, please go offline. If you are online and looking for business, your acceptance rate should be consistently high. Begin Trip Wait Time Module Once you accept a trip and hit Arriving Now, you will see a Begin Trip button. When you hit the Begin Trip button, Uber records the time and location of the trip's origin, which is later used to calculate the fare. When you arrive at the pickup location, your client may not be ready immediately. We suggest waiting a few minutes before calling the rider. Drivers who call excessively are often rated poorly, as riders find this both annoying and unnecessary. If you do call the rider, it's a good idea to let them know where you are, and to check that they still need a ride. If your client asks you to wait, a few minutes of free wait time may be reasonable. You can also ask the client for permission to begin the trip, which gives them all the time they need, but ensures you are being compensated fairly. It's important that you do not press Begin Trip until your rider is in the vehicle or until they have given you permission to begin the trip. If you start a trip too soon, you will be overcharging the rider, who is likely to leave a lower rating and request a fare adjustment. You should also make sure you have the correct rider before you start the trip. Simply ask for their name, and if they respond correctly, you can be very certain you have the right person. Cancel Trip Module If at any point you do need to cancel a trip, do not press Begin Trip and End Trip. Instead, simply hit the Cancel button in the top left-hand corner of the app. Then, choose from the list of reasons given. If applicable, the user will be charged a cancellation fee. But please note that not all cancellations result in a fee of being charged to the rider. Keep in mind that Uber allows every rider one free cancellation so that they can familiarize themselves with the process. Notice that you always have the option Do Not Charge Client. Be sure to use this whenever you do not think your rider should be charged, such as when you cannot fulfill the request after accepting. For a good rider experience, it's also best if you offer to cancel a ride when your client no longer needs a car. There's no need to ask the rider to cancel because you have the option to simulate a rider canceling using the client requested cancel option. Excessive Calling Module Getting a ride with Uber is as easy as pressing a button on your smartphone. When the driver accepts a request, the rider automatically receives a text message, notifying him or her that their driver is en route. That text gives them the driver's name, rating, and estimated time of arrival. Additionally, when the driver arrives at the pickup location and presses the Arriving Now button, the rider receives another text, informing them that their driver has arrived. The app is built to be seamless and does not require a phone call from the driver unless there's a problem finding the rider. In fact, drivers who do call excessively are often rated poorly, as riders find this both annoying and unnecessary. If your rating falls below rider expectations, you may lose access to the Uber application. Remember, there's no need to call the rider in most circumstances. The Uber app handles most communication for you. GPS City Knowledge Module The most common complaint that Uber receives about drivers is for poor route choice or lack of city knowledge. There are a few ways you can avoid this. 
First, it's a good idea to simply ask your passenger if they have a preferred route. If the response is yes, following that route will almost always earn a five-star rating. Learning your city is also critical. The better you know one-way streets and local landmarks, the more efficient your driving will be. When you can complete trips faster, not only will your ratings increase, so will your earnings. Finally, having a GPS unit in your car can give you a backup for when you don't know the destination. We suggest using a traditional standalone GPS or a free application such as Waze or Google Maps. GPS routes are not always perfect, however, so it's a good idea to learn the city and have the GPS as a backup. Fare Review Module Once you've arrived at the drop-off location and have confirmed that it is the final destination, press the End Trip button. Uber uses the trip data to calculate a fare, which then appears in the app within seconds. At this point, you will also be asked to rate the rider 1 to 5 stars. Select the rating that best reflects your experience and press Submit. Once you submit the rider's rating, you'll see two buttons. If the fare appeared to be incorrect, or if you had an issue on the trip, select the I Need a Fare Review button. There will be several options available in the menu, each of which notifies Uber automatically and allows us to quickly adjust the fare if needed. If everything looks great, just hit Go Online and your vehicle will go back online, ready to accept the next trip that comes your way. Accepting Cash Module Uber is a completely cashless app. This is a big part of the reason riders love us and why we've been able to grow so quickly. Cashless means all transactions are handled through the app. If there is ever a technical issue during the trip, or you end the trip early, or begin the trip late, please just send an email to the Uber support team with details. We can easily look up the trip, figure out what happened, and adjust the fare. We're always looking out for you. Asking the rider to pay for part of the trip in cash is not only against the terms of our software agreement, it is also an unprofessional and possibly uncomfortable experience for your client who is expecting a cashless transaction. Let us handle any payment issues, so you have more time to focus on providing five-star service. There is no tip included with the Uber. The Uber experience means not having to reach for a wallet at the end of a ride. As a result, we message to riders that tipping is not required. We never want riders to feel obligated to pay extra at the end of Uber trips. If a client offers a tip, please remind them that tipping is not necessary. New riders may not know that a tip is not necessary with Uber and could feel cheated if they later learn that tipping was not required. However, if the rider still insists, you should accept the tip. You earned it. Payment method. Getting paid is simple and convenient with our Vault. Vault provides secure storage and payout integration for partner tax and banking information. You can go to vault.uber.com at any time to set up your direct deposit or click the banking tab on your partner dashboard at partners.uber.com. Once you enter your information into Vault, you'll be paid via direct deposit every Thursday. The payment period is Monday at 4 a.m. to the following Monday at 4 a.m. Remember, you can take trips before you set up your Vault information, and you will still be paid for all completed trips.